TV, CES 2017. So you see what's going on. And if you're on that virtual reality, look around, you see everything. That's right. We we're going inside. We're going to see what's up with some fun stuff at CES. Come on here, Buzz TV. CES 2017. We're at a place that I needed to come to. And for those of you, especially you watching in VR, you're going to need to come to. We're with Jackie. We're a relief band. Jackie, tell us about this product, and then we'll get into a, a, a story that where I actually need the product. Okay. So what we have is relief band NeuroWave. Um, it's a new design for this year, and what it is is it's an FDA cleared uh, uh, device used to uh, prevent nausea and vomiting. Uh, so you don't have to take any drugs, and then there are no side effects. Now, explain to me all the uh, cases where I might need this. I mean, myself, we'll get into some VR stuff, but I'm pretty sure this covers a few other applications other than the VR world. Absolutely. So it was originally intended uh, for uh, people that were suffering from nausea and vomiting due to chemotherapy and post-operative -oper reasons. Uh, it was originally a... Um, prescription only device and it has now been taken over the counter. It's um, meant for people who suffer from motion sickness due to car sickness, people that go on cruises, um, people that uh, are can't get in the back of a taxi cab. It's also meant for people that suffer from uh, morning sickness, women who are uh, pregnant, um, as well as uh, the VR world. Now I've heard that morning sickness can really, really be a drag, so it, uh, I'm glad that could help. Now for me in the VR world, hopefully you guys haven't done this, played a game, probably played a little too long, but when I took my headset off right away, was nauseous, wanted to throw up, um, complete body sweats, was really dizzy, and this was about an hour and a half long, maybe a little longer. So, would this be a device that I would use prior to, let's say, playing, um, or would it be a device that I'm gonna use after I actually get sick?
possibly be to this. This is definitely going to knock the sucker out. I really appreciate that. Now, uh, let's see. What would the charge time be? We know it's going to give you about a 20 hour flight. What would uh, generally a charge time be on this? go down the line and talk about the great stuff that you can get right now. Sure, of course. Well, we'll start with the virtual reality mic. So this is something that we showed you guys at Buzz TV last year, and when it was still as a prototype in pre-production. We've now moved on to full production. You can buy the mic, you can get it shipped to your house today, ready to go for shooting 360 video. Now, what's the uh, final price on this thing for a consumer out there? Yeah, in the U.S., the final price is $1,650, so that's $1,650. It's not a bad thing, and that comes with all the software I'm going to need to do what I need to do, correct? Yeah, that, that'll come with all the software that you need to get to meet format, also include uh, all the cabling that you require and the shock mount. And that'll work, uh, that's PC as well as iOS? That's correct. Well, PC and Mac, it's uh, our converter software for VST and AEX, so Pro Tools and pretty much anything else. Perfect, that's, that's a big thing. Yeah. And I see some other stuff that's here now, so uh, what else is actually on market? I see... Is that an iPhone Lab? Yeah, sure, yeah, we have a couple things here. Um, you can start with the iPhone Lab. This is our Clip Mic Digital. It's a, it's a microphone that we have that's for uh, interviews or for recording home movies. It goes straight into your iPhone and the Lightning connection. And the converter is done by Apogee, so you know it's going to be high quality. Uh, it's 96 kilohertz and 24-bit uh, digital, dan sorry, analog to digital converter. So super high quality, super clear audio, and a microphone that you expect from Sennheiser. Oh, that's a great thing. What's the price point on that one? Uh, shoot, you know, I actually don't know that. Let's see. I know, because I look. It's 199 well, you, you know, no, that, that thing's just a great, great yeah. price point, too, because I love it. So what's this one? So this is our hand mic digital. This is based on our classic E835 microphone, which has been used on stages around the world. Um, and we've done a similar thing here. We've partnered up with Apogee to put a high-quality uh, analog to digital converter inside, so you can take that high-quality microphone, plug it straight to your iPhone, and record some interviews or whatever kind of content you want to record with a handheld mic. You know, so many people have been waiting for this stuff. I know a lot of people that do a lot of things on their iPhone, either live stuff, webcasts, podcasts, and these are the things that they, the tools they've really needed. Now let me ask a question, is there any way to extend the cabling on something like that? You know, you'd have to check to make sure the power requirements are, are met, but a certain amount of extension should be acceptable. Yeah. Perfect, because, you, you know, I'm a, when I go cabling, I'm pretty good about 30, 50 feet wide, okay. that's how I am. Yeah. What's the price point on that one? Now, this one, a price hasn't been set yet. It, it's set to be released later this year. Got it. Yeah. And lastly, yeah. there's a mic on a GoPro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we finally have a solution for your all your GoPro audio worries. So now, uh, we're releasing this mic later this year. It's called the MKE-2 uh, Elements. It's a waterproof, wind-resistant microphone for Hero 4 GoPros, uh, allowing you to do whatever you want to do with your GoPro and still get high-quality audio. Now, there's a game-changer because I know a lot of people that use their GoPros, yeah. and the thing they're always saying is audio. Yeah. You know, they want high-quality audio. You can't get any better than Sennheiser. You know, we've been using their stuff forever. And we can't really stress about the quality of audio in any product. And you guys nailed it with this thing. So it's going to be released later in the year. It'll be released later in this year. And what do we guess the price is going to be, or do we have a fixed number yet? No, we don't have a fixed number yet, but you can expect it to be consumer friendly because it's a GoPro accessory. So it should be at the right price point and good quality. So. Right down here is the link to Sennheiser. So you're going to get on their website. You're going to see all this stuff. You're going to know the exact release dates. 
but yeah. some stuff on it right now, and yeah. you want to pick that up. We're going to get our hands on this thing here. We'll do some 360 audio. You'll know when it's coming. We'll wait for the 3D camera, so we're going to mix all that, the same thing, and give you some VR 3D with some 360 audio, and then it's going to be immersive and in your face. Excellent. So, Brian. <laughs> I love the stuff that Sennheiser has. It's so much fun coming back to see you guys. And that's why we're here every year. Very few people we see again and again. But when you're as good as this, that's why you come back every year. So it's always a pleasure to see you. Hey, Brian, I appreciate everything. For me, for Brian, for the guys at Sennheiser, for Buzz TV and CES 2017, we're out of here. See ya. Be right here at Buzz TV. We're still at Sennheiser. We're with our friend Lawrence, and he's going to show us something really great that Sennheiser has, surround sound audio, a very new product. So Lorenz, what do we have? Well, this is one of our new products, being part of the Ambison product family, which is uh, a great device to capture um, real 3D immersive audio by making use of um, into, two integrated uh, microphones into these earbuds, which are for a side look as a standard pair of headphones, but it's far more than that. With this pair of headphones, by placing them into your ears, you enable a free, a really 3D binaural recording. That, makes, that means that the sound is approaching your ears, and by the reflection of your ears, your head, your shoulder reflection, it is really capturing it exactly the same way as you experience it. Okay, now, exactly, is this working with any kind of audio I have? Hi, we're shooting video. Thank you. Will this work with any kind of audio I have, or is it specifically audio recorded with these? So, um, you, you can do it with, uh, in the first place. The first product introduction will be for iOS devices, so Apple iPhones, iPads, and iPods. Um, and uh, you, the recording is, um, in so to say, a standard st uh, stereo recording, so it works with any standard recording device. Uh, um, uh, and uh, play device when you use a pair of uh, uh, standard uh, stereo headphones. So you, what you need is just this device, okay. recording it, and then you can replay it on, with any pair of stereo headphones. Can I hear uh, what something sounds like on that? Yes, of course. You can. So I can give you uh, this pair of headphones. I'm just helping you getting it into it. I'm hooking it uh, around your ear first and then putting it into your ear, and you have to put it slightly further inside, so, and uh, oh, you, should it, you should turn around, oh, okay. uh, so, around the ear, and in your ear, so, and now, what we can do now is, doing first of all, Switching on the transparent hearing functionality, which enables you to hear your surrounding better. Correct. Uh, this is uh, enabled by you making use of the two microphones. At the same time, we can do a recording. And when we do a recording, the recording is actually capturing the sound from the speaking side, or really hearing it from the side. So when I replay, you hear me speaking, walking around you. Wow. And uh, when I did the recording and uh, would like to share it, I'm just sending it to the community uh, or sending my email and everybody can re-experience what I have re experienced or I can of course relive the situations as, 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 as many times as I wanted to. And I'll just a, a sample for you. I did a little recording on a Christmas party and uh, when I just press the play button, I put you into my shoes. you know here it is see now that's great because I'm looking for all the kids behind me here exactly so it is capturing the sound as I was experiencing it and you are now in my shoes at that spot in that moment and with this transparent hearing functionality I can still at the same time speak into your ear and say something as if I was sitting next to you that is really really a great thing I love this guys you really do hear the vocal point going completely around you wherever you are. 
Um, if you're standing in the middle of a situation, you will hear everything all around. That's why I look, because I was expecting little kids behind me. What, what's the price point on something like this? We haven't finally decided on the price point. It is going to be available at the second part, uh, part of the second half of this year, and we shortly will uh, come up with the price um, as soon as we can. You know, Lorenz, this is a great product, but it doesn't surprise me because everything that Sennheiser does is just amazing. So when you guys come out with something like this, it blows your mind, but then you go, wait, it's Sennheiser. So that's not the shocking part. Guys, we're looking at possibly quarter three, the second half of the year. But again, hit that link right down here. It's going to take you right to that Sennheiser site. These things are going to be a game changer. Um, not just with personal recording, but even in the professional market, because it's going to give you a way to grab stuff without having a ton of bulk a year, making a pocket size. Lorenz, this is probably one of our top 10 picks. We really love this. Off camera, we're going to be talking a lot more. We're going to make sure we get our hands on a pair. We'll drive it hard to a full product review, so you're going to see it real soon. I love everything you guys have. This is just an amazing, an amazing product. For myself, for Lorenz, for the Sennheiser family, here at CES 2017 at Buzz TV, we're out of here, guys. See ya. Be right here at Buzz TV, CES 2017, and where could we be? Of course, we're at Kodak. Now, you've watched the show. You've seen the stuff we've done. You've seen the great 360 4K video we've done. And how have we done that? That's with the Kodak's Pix Pro. We're here with Paul because Kodak has actually found a way to upgrade this incredible unit. Hey, Paul, let's talk about this stuff because we love what you have. Sure. So, um, you know, just like you said, uh, with our 360 cameras, we're really excited about this new space, VR. Uh, to create 360 images. This new, uh, the PixPro uh, Orbit 360, we've actually integrated the two cameras together. So now we can create an all-in-one 360 degree image uh, with one unit, and we can either live stream it, or we can download it onto an app, or we can share the videos and do its own stitching as well. Now let me ask a question, because that live stream definitely sparked my interest. Can I live stream and record at the same time? Um, there, there, there's different modes of resolution. If you want the highest resolution, you have to just record. Got it. Okay, but if you if you down res, you can go ahead and you can live stream, um, and then you can uh, edit it later. Perfect. Now, we were talking to some other people in the booth. Tell me the lovely price point on this. Well, this one we're just introducing. It will be available this uh, quarter, so in about the next month and a half or so. Um, and it's $500, so the cost has come down quite a bit. Our dual pro pack before was about $1,000. Exactly. And uh, so now we've been able to, to bring the price down so it's a little bit more consumer friendly. And guys, that was the, really the, the lead into that question. Because as we said, we've used the Pix Pro, the 4K, we've had the twin pack, and that's what we've used. And when we heard the price point on this and found out it was just about 50% less, um, I think somewhere up there, look at the 3D stream, you'll find the top of my head, because uh, that definitely blew me away. We're pre-ordering ours as soon as we leave the show. Quarter one, we love that. Now, this is pretty much all the same features as the Twin Pack, or a little bird told me you might be doing a little spatial audio. We might be able to do some more things than the original unit. Am I correct? Well, we're, we're exploring different things. This one actually has been an upgrade um, from uh, the way we're using the lenses and the sensors. So we actually use two different lenses here. One lens is a 155 degree lens, and the other is a 234. The reason for that is now we can maximize the pixel count for this sensor uh, on, the, on the front of the camera. And um, it allows us to do a full 4K uh, flat ultra wide image as well as a global image. Um, so it's, it's really something that unique, but when we're doing a stitch for a global image and you're pointing this uh, particular lens at your, su your main subject, it's going to be a lot higher resolution. It's going to look like a much sharper image. Oh, I love that. Can't wait to get my hands on one. Now, something we definitely want to point out. We've used a couple different cameras in, in our world because VR is new. Kodak has the best microphones that we have found. You've heard the audio, and we're going to be honest, 
couple of our VR pieces are just audio from the Kodak camera. We have not sucked in other stuff. These things are that good in a loud atmosphere. There's no sound degradation. It's not tinny. You truly have a full sound. We want to give our hats off to Kodak because you really, really nailed it with that one. That's great, and we think that's an important feature as well as the video, to have good audio. It's all about creating the best possible experience. It, it really is, and now that we have this down to a one unit, and we drop the size from maybe this wide to this wide, it really does fix a lot of things. Um, the best thing I see is that Kodaks listen to us, because as consumers, we came back and said, we love this, um, maybe could we tweak this or change that? and a company that put a lot of money in a different product, redesigned some stuff, and it looks like you have the winner. Um, you know, for us consumers, especially high-end or prosumer, or even just a regular consumer, we want quality, and the price point, you guys, you guys truly nailed this thing. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Another thing that's really kind of cool is we've implemented actually a Bluetooth remote control. So now you can control this remotely uh, without the interference of Wi-Fi and as far as synchronization, changing the mode, start, stop recording, photos, videos, uh, all with the Bluetooth remote. And that works on your app as well, so you can use it from your smartphone. You know, and that's a great thing. We have uh, the remote from the other camera, so we know how well those things work. But being able to run everything from our phone, and that was kind of an issue before, I could only see one camera from my phone. I couldn't turn on both cameras. I couldn't do everything. With it all being in one thing, I could control it, because you know us, we have multiple cameras. I have to be able to run the camera that's right by the drummer, and I'm in front of the stage. So being able to do that from our phone is such a bonus and a plus. Last question. Anything I might have left out that they need to know or that I haven't even found out about this lovely unit? Um, you know, we're, we're continually improving and uh, we're really excited. I think we pretty much covered it all. So Splash you know, proof like the other ones? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You need that because with us in a club, there's always that, that guy with the beer. <laughs> Paul, I really appreciate you guys taking the time. You see how crazy it is. Spin around. You see the traffic Kodak gets. Why? Because they're the best at what they do. They don't skimp. They don't cut corners. And with this new unit, quarter one, ooh, January is a fun, fun month for me. Yeah. Paul, I appreciate everything. For us, for Kodak, for the Pix Pro, for the new Pix Pro unit, Buzz TV and CES 2017. We're out of here, guys. See ya. So